But as a sort of trailer, we asked various film people to choose their favourites, not just of this year, not just of the 80s, but of all time. Probably at the end of the day, I think my favourite film is East of Eden, simply because I always come back to it. Platoon? <laughs> yeah, the 80s. And I think my favourite film of all time is On the Waterfront. Well, it's between Tales of Hoffman and Mean Streets, strangely. I think probably Mean Streets. I'm a pig in mud when it comes to movies. I, I, I'd have a real hard time saying a favourite movie. Mr. Smith goes to Washington, maybe, I don't know. You know, I think French Connection 1 and 2 are gems. I have a favourite film that was made in 1964 by a Russian director called Sergei Bondarchuk, and it was uh, uh, a version of War and Peace. A toss-up between Akira Kurosawa's Ran and uh, My Life as a Dog. The Raging Bull has to be. Yeah, I... I must say, I mean, I, The Godfather just sticks out in my mind as a film that I can always watch. I'm going to say, Raging Bull, My Life is a Dog, even though everybody else has probably said those things. I, I th I'd have to say Raging Bull. Man's Castle. Uh, Oxbow Incident. Um, David Copperfield, Oliver Twist. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. It's a Wonderful Life. Doctor Strange Love. Psycho. Um, uh, the Godfather and The Great Escape. Gone with the Wind, Les Enfants du Paradis, um, five easy pieces, you know, <laughs> there's a wide range. The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, which was directed by my idol, Rex Ingram. Champs at Oxford. Laurel and Hardy, Champs at Oxford. My favourite film ever, ever, ever is Viva Zapata. I think I saw it in the 50s. And I think in the 60s, uh, Easy Rider. And I think in the 70s, uh, Dog Day Afternoon. And in the 80s, uh, John de Florette. Interesting choices there. 